Uh, right, here we go. The Premier League profits and sus- 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 oh, here we go again. Sustainability rules uh, do not make sense and are bad for football. This is from Villa's co-owner. Yes. He said Egyptian businessman. Uh, Nasaf Sawaris also said he was considering legal action against the rules, so sticking with City, can you believe it? City are already suing the Premier League over their financial rules. How long could this go on for, Gabby? You know what I mean? This is going to be really, really interesting. And people are saying this is historic. This could change our football forever. I just think, Alan, for like clubs like Villa, Newcastle, you know, you're trying to break into that top four, you finally get into it, and then, you know, you're trying to stay there and you've got to sell one of your better players. Like, for instance, Douglas Luiz, outstanding last season, you know, um, gets into the, the Brazil squads, Copper America squad, and we're going to have to sell him. You know, you're talking £20 million plus two players in exchange, Alan, when yeah. we were talking last season, like, he's an £80 million midfielder. So it, that's going to affect teams trying to push on and trying to get, you know, into a, a stage where you can fight for league titles. Do you know what I mean, Alan? So oh, they, they've got to change something. They've got to change something because Villa should be able to, with rich, rich owners, Alan, billionaire, multi-billionaire owners, should be able to go again. OK, can we strengthen now? Can we go and spend £100 million on on free players? And strengthen the squad and go again next season. Well, so put it this way, Gabby, we can, we, I, you know, I totally agree with you. So we say now, um, teams at the bottom of the Premier can never win the Premier now because exactly. uh, unless yes. they're a big, big club coming up. Let's take my team, yes. Ipswich, right? So yep. we won't be able to spend fortunes because we don't bring fortunes no. in. So how are we, exactly. we going to get back into the the top exactly. six we used to be in Europe every year? And and. and and some of these teams, Alan, like the Man Cities, the, the Liverpools, they've already got their squads built. You know what I mean? They've got their 20 star players. Are you looking at a team like Aston Villa, Alan? When the draw's made, we could get Real Madrid. We could have Mbappe come into Villa Park. We want a, a, a squad that can that can have a good chance of giving a good fight, trying yeah. to win games in the Champions League, not just rolling over because you can't buy the, the players that and you need. And by the way, some of the top sides as well... Never mind their 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 squads in the Premier. What about their academies with kids coming through? They've spent fortunes yes. on them, and they're going to yes. come, they, you know in and a few years they'll come to fruition. Yes, but you see the problem as well, Alan, is that like because an academy product, if you sell that player, it's all profit. So then clubs are just selling players that they the other, that mean a lot to the fans. For instance, there was talk yeah, about Jacob players, Ramsey yeah. at Aston Villa. Yeah, Jacob Ramsey at Aston Villa, Villa fan coming through the academy. Could he be one that sacrificed to get thirty million through the door when the manager likes him? But you're selling a homegrown player because it's all profit. Conor Gallagher, Chelsea don't want to um, sell him, but maybe no. they have to because it's going to go uh, down as um, all profit. That's yeah, the problem, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's not right. I understand. No. It's a it's a problem that needs sorting, and it's not going to be easy yes. to sort. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.